So this is Jemima May, currently moored at Bridge 26 on the Grand Union here at Stowhill Wharf. She's a 2005 57 foot traditional stern narrowboat, narrowboat in good condition. She was built by Liverpool Boats and fitted out by Liverpool Boats. She has an Isuzu engine, 42 horsepower, and she's hardly been used uh, for propulsion. There's only 330 odd hours on the clock. She's only had two owners, both of whom lived aboard and didn't do much cruising, so the engine's just about running, really. The locker here on the well deck houses one gas bottle. There's room for two, plenty of room for two. There's hoses in there. A couple of lockers on the well deck, nice space for sitting out. And into the cabin, the saloon. I think this room is really charming. It's fitted out an oak face ply. Got some real character. The headroom in here is enormous. It's six foot six. So for those of you who are struggling to find a narrowboat with headroom, here we are. There's a Becton stove, solid fuel stove in the corner with a television cabinet, stereo, some good cupboards and shelves over there on the other side. Three radiators on this boat, two in the forward cabin, one in the bedroom, powered by an Ebis backer. And there's the demountable table and the L-shaped dinette, which does make up into a double berth. It's a really nice feel in here. Those cupboards have access from both sides, both the galley and the saloon. It's got a practical arrangement in here. It's quite a nice shape to the walk-through kitchen. Microwave oven powered by the 1800 watt Stirling inverter. And here we go. You can grab your glass wherever you are, whether it be in the saloon or the kitchen. It's a 12 volt fridge, a leg. A couple of good sized cupboards under this work surface. There's a side hatch in the galley here. Rather nice for light and ventilation. The drop-in cooker has four burners, an oven and a grill, the cupboard's over. This work service has the sink and a draining sink just to the left of it. There's some good, good sized cupboards. It's all in here, looks nice, feels nice. Not what you need to do. Down into the bathroom, which I love. Uh, it's good size, it's got a lovely quadrant shower. Nice arrangement with the vanity unit and basin. That's a macerator pump out loo. And there's a towel rail heated by the Eberspacker as well. There's a light in, in the towel cu uh, shower cubicle. and an opening porthole window. Clear the steam. And on into the bedroom, there's three good sized drawers under the bed here. That gives you storage under half of the bed, the other half is the pump out tank. There's a wall mounted television at the foot of the bed. And some shelves and reading lights over the pillows. Door here shuts, give you some privacy. And there are two full size floor to ceiling wardrobes in here, which gives you ample space. If you don't need two wardrobes, you could put shelves in one of them. It's really good storage. There's a, another aspect of the bedroom. On into the aft cabin, under which sits the Isuzu engine, the battery bank, inverters, battery management systems, and out onto the stern deck. Mind your head and mind the gap as I get off. 
That's Jemima May. For a full downloadable colour brochure, go to rugbyboats.co.uk.